Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to create your first uh, Power BI dataset using Microsoft Fabric. Uh, so let's dive into the video right away. And before we get started, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that we really appreciate the support we've got so far, and we would love it if those of you who are watching our videos who are not subscribed could uh, quickly hit the subscribe button or hit the like button on this video if you're enjoying our content. Um, as we see, most of the people watching our content are unsubscribed. Uh, but yeah, now that that's out of the way, let's dive into the demo. So, um, to create your first Power BI dataset, what you can do is you can come over to the lakehouse on top of which you want to create your Power BI dataset. And in this particular lakehouse, uh, you should have at least one, uh, more than one, ideally when, when you're talking about a dataset. Um, uh, tables or delta tables already in the ta table format. They can't be unstructured uh, tables. They should, uh, in the file section, they need to be properly recognized delta tables in the table section. And then you can see here we've got five tables. Uh, and now all we need to do is hit this new Power BI dataset button and it brings up this wizard where we can choose the list of tables that we want for this particular dataset. I need all of them. So I'm just going to hit select all and confirm so there it goes in and grabs all the data in the tables and brings them to our data set uh, modeling experience so this is the modeling experience that we have uh, within fabric so what we can do is maybe arrange all of the dimensions around various fact tables. And zoom out a bit. All right, so let's quickly uh, set this up. So we can hit um, customers to customer ID, many to one, confirm. You can assume referential integrity as well. Then we've got products. Products come later on, but this order ID can go here. Many to one, that's correct. Employees, employee ID to employee ID, many to one confirm. And products we get from order details so it will be many to one so it's important tip that you can remember that you have to drag from the side that has many to the dimension table that will only have one so you have your many to one um, uh, relationship set up and then you can adjust the cardinality and also the cross filter direction and assume referential integrity so once we hit confirm this is our data set completely set up right and we can make any of the edits we want, uh, no stress, we can just hit the relationship button and then uh, change the properties or delete that particular relationship. So there's no issue. And we can edit tables. Suppose we had more tables come in to the lake house underlying this. You can just hit this edit table and bring in that new table. We can also create measures at this point or we can further create measures at the report level. So ideally, once you have done your data engineering and ingestion and you build the delta tables in your lake house then you can hit this power bi data set you create this data set create the relations you can create the measures here or at the report level but once you have this data set and the relationships ready you can just hit new report and it takes you to a, a web-based report development experience as many of you are probably aware so you can have Alrighty. So as you can see, it's um, working and you have your whole report building experience available to you and you can start directly in the web. So that's what this whole Power BI dataset um, functionality is about in Microsoft Fabric. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
share comment and hit the bell icon and i'll see you guys in the next one